In this video, I will show you how you can use the Device File Explorer in Entry Studio to improve your app testing workflow. The Device File Explorer allows you to create, upload, copy, and delete files on an Android device directly in Android Studio. The device can either be an Android virtual device or a real physical device. Now, to launch the File Explorer, in the menu bar you can go to View, Tool Windows, then click Device File Explorer. Or if the device manager is already open like it is now, you can access the file explorer by clicking on this folder icon for the device that you want to explore. As you can see, the file explorer is docked in the right sidebar for easy access. If you have many devices running, you can easily switch between them using this drop down list. In here, you can interact with the files and folders the same way that you would with any other file explorer. That means clicking on the arrows to open and close a folder and double click on a file to open it. The file folder will open only if you have the right permissions. More on that later. You can create a new file or directory, save selected file or directory to your machine, upload, delete, or synchronize files. Those features make the File Explorer very useful when testing and debugging an app that reads and writes to the device storage system. So let's quickly see each of these features in action. Create a new file or directory. To create a new file or directory, just right click on the directory where you want to put the new file or directory and select new, then click directory or file. Give it a name and that's it. Save the selected file or directory to your machine. To save a file or directory on your machine, you need to first select the file or directory, then right click and click Save As. This will open a dialog box where you can select the location on your computer where you want to save the file or directory previously selected. Once you click OK, it will download the file or directory content to the selected location on your computer. Successfully downloaded. Let's see the file on the computer. The process is exactly the same for saving a file. Upload file to device. To upload or add a file or a directory to a device, Again, right click on the location where you will want to put the file or directory and click upload. In this dialog box, you need to select the file or directory that you want to upload. Once that's done, click OK. Then the file explorer will upload the files to the previously selected location in this device. Synchronization. For example, when testing, when your app creates a file in a specific folder, sometimes the newly created file might not appear in the expected folder right away. To make sure that the content of the folder is up to date, just right click and click Synchronize. This will synchronize the folder in the file explorer with the one on your device. Delete. Deleting a file or folder is pretty straightforward. Just select the file folder, right click, then click Delete. If you have the right permissions, the file will be deleted. If not, you will receive a message like this one saying that you don't have the right to delete this file. This leads us to something fundamental that you need to keep in mind when using the file explorer. Most data on the device is not visible unless you are using a rooted device or an emulator with a standard AOSP system image. That means a device like this one that doesn't have the Google APIs or Google Play system image. For instance, if we try this emulator with this AOSP system image, we can open the folders, view the files, and we can even delete them. As we just saw, even though we can see a file or a folder, that doesn't mean we can open or delete it. In fact, in the data slash data directory, entries corresponding to apps on the device that are not debuggable cannot be expanded in the device file explorer. This is the reason why, when exploring a device files, the following two directories are particularly useful. The first one, data slash data slash app name, where app name is the name of the package that you are currently testing or debugging. It contains data files for your app that are stored in the internal storage. As a reminder, you can find your app package name in the app manifest file. The second useful directory is this SD card. It contains the user files stored on the external user storage. Files like pictures, music, recordings, and videos. 
The file explorer is useful when you want to investigate the files created by your app or if you want to transfer files between a device and your computer. But the file explorer is only one of many tools in the Android developer toolbox. This is why I would suggest that you go watch this playlist where I go over different useful tools that you can use to help you test and debug your Android apps.